Greetings comrades, Multigame Master one Report again, and welcome back to Let's Play 100% Banjo-Tooie. In the last episode, we started exploring Jolly Roger's Lagoon and did a lot of shopping. In this episode, we are going to explore the underwater depths of Jolly Roger's Lagoon. With me, I have a special guest. Introduce yourself if you please. What's up YouTube? This is Stormstriker SX9 here. And as usual, I will leave a link to Stormstriker's channel in the description below this video. So Stormstriker, are you ready to dive? I am ready to go diving. Alright, let's go on in and dive. Swimming, swimming, swimming down the sea. We're diving down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. We're both making references at this point. Now to start things off, we have brand new enemies known as Blubbles. They're just anemones that guard secrets. All you want to do to get at the secrets is to stun them in the eye with any egg of your choosing. Of course, I prefer using grenade eggs since it covers a wide blast radius. So we'll take those notes with us and keep going. Now through this passageway, we will also see an octopus with many tentacles known as an inky. It's difficult to get past him, but you can freeze him momentarily. Just shoot an ice egg into its mouth and he'll be frozen momentarily, but he will thaw out within a few seconds, so get past him as quickly as you can. Now let's check out what's beyond this passageway. <gasps> Could this be? Is it? It's Atlantis! It is Atlantis! We've discovered the lost undersea kingdom of Atlantis! There's so much to explore here! We should get our exploration started! By the way, we have two brand new enemies. That's a Simi right there. It just guards contest within its belly. And over there we have a puffer fish known as a swell belly. When you get close to it, it will inflate itself and poke you with spikes, as you will probably see right about here. So keep your distance from it if you can. Now let's check out what's here. Wait, get away from me, swell belly. Okay, there we go. Oh, another one of those a memmies, a nemmies, a nemmies, a nemmies, a nemmies, Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo, yes. <laughs> okay, so on this door we will see some symbols that resemble a code. Let's see: stone, string, omega, string, triangle, triangle. Shouldn't it be hard to keep that in mind? There actually is a place that you can go to to input the code, and that's this little area right here. To activate the code, all you want to do is to shoot an egg of any kind into the pots of the mermaid statues. So let's see. It was stone, then string, omega, um, string, and then triangle and triangle. After inputting the correct code, the door opens and we will now explore the Temple of the Fishes. See guys, I told you that there was more to Jolly Roger's Lagoon than what was expected. There's more to the area than meets the eye. And best of all, we can breathe freely underwater thanks to Mumbo's help from the last episode. Now in the Temple of the Fishes, we will see a brand new character, and Stormstriker, you wanted to voice act for this character, so I will give you the honors. Hello there! Oh, hi. I'm Chris. Chris? Not very pick-like, if you ask me. Actually, it's Crispy Bacon. Oh, I see. What are you doing, Mr. Bacon? I'm on vacation, trying to photograph these lovely paintings on the wall down there. Sounds fascinating. Oh, it is. But these awful fish keep attacking me. Why not get a spear gun? This camera was too expensive. I had no doubloons left. Perhaps you could protect me while I'm down there instead. What do you say we give him a hand, Stormstriker? Yeah, we should. Alright, let's do this. Right then, if you could just follow me down to the bottom. So now Crispy Bacon will go to the bottom floor of the Temple of the Fishes, and as soon as he touches the bottom, we will go ahead and get the next minigame started. This next minigame that we're about to play isn't really all that difficult, you just have to be wary. Hope you're ready, here they come! And the minigame begins, so all you have to do within this minigame is to protect Crispy Bacon from all the fish that are chasing him. 
or maybe not so much chasing him, but approaching his position. You only have to do this within the duration of 60 seconds. If he gets bit even once, you will lose the minigame and you'll have to start all the way over. So be wary of your surroundings, and also Chris's. You can use whatever egg that you want to in order to take out the fishes. Just make sure that you take out the fish on site and don't waste any time. Otherwise, it's just gonna bite you in your butt later on, like the fish will, eventually, to Chris if they ever get close to him. Okay, 15 seconds left on the clock. Not so fast, fish. You're not getting any closer. 10 seconds. Hope you got those lovely paintings, Chris. Five seconds left. We're almost there. Mini game complete. I think that will do it. I'm off back to the surface. So, with all of the pictures that Crispy Bacon has got, he now returns to the water's surface, and hopefully he should be able to give us some kind of reward. A very useful one at that. I got all the shots I needed. Perhaps this thing I found earlier may interest you. And with that, we get another Jiggy. A very worthy reward indeed. Well, I'm off to get these pictures printed. Bye! Bye, Crispy Bacon. Thanks for the Jiggy. Bye, Crispy Bacon. I just realized that's a pun for Crispy Bacon. <laughs> I want a crispy bacon cheeseburger. It makes me hungry too, Storm Striker. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Crispy. Didn't mean to pun you. <laughs> okay, let's just take these eggs and get going. Now let's see, where else can we go to from here? How about we make our way over here and activate this warp pad and go inside this little hole over here to find an extra honeycomb piece. There's so much of Atlantis to see. Let's check out this building next, as soon as we grab these notes. Alright, let's head inside. Uh, where's the entrance? There it is, right there. Now, inside this place, we will see brand new enemies known as Frazzles. They're electric eels that will swim after you if you get spotted. And if you touch them, you will get an electric shock from them, so keep your distance from them. There is a way to defeat them underwater, but I will show you guys that in a second. Right now, let's just make our way through this passageway over here, and once again, find Jam Jars. Talon Torpedo. Left trigger, right trigger, launches bird, just watch her go through the water like a torpedo. Left stick to steer and A for speed. X to cancel if it's banjo you need. That'll be all. Dismissed. Thank you, Jam Jars. Thank you. Now let's go ahead and make our way out of here. Bye, getting past the Frazzles. Now you can take them out with grenade eggs. But it's rather tricky to pull off, but you can do it. With both of the frazzles taken out, we can now make our way out of here. Those frazzles are really scary, especially when you look at them up close and they chase after you and send off jolts of electricity. Swimming, just swimming, swimming in the bottom of the sea. Pretty much, Storm Striker, that's all we're doing. Now in here, we'll see another frazzle, which we need to get rid of. Stupid beast. Now, inside this place, we will find a brand new enemy known as a Whirlweed, as you will see right here. When you get close to it, it will attack you, but you can just defeat it on sight rather easily. Now, let's see what else we can find within this area. So, what do you think of Atlantis so far, Storm Striker? It's pretty. It is pretty indeed. Beautiful. Shines with the water. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought that we'd find this place within Jolly Rogers Lagoon. What are the odds? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, right here we have our first brown Jinjo. I started wondering when it would be that we would start rescuing these guys, and it turns out that, well, here's the place. Now let's check out this passageway. This takes us to the sea bottom. Okay, things are looking dangerous here, but we're gonna venture forth anyway. Now let's see, what can we find in this place? Oh, there's a Simi right there that has an extra honeycomb piece. To get it, you want to use the Talon Torpedo. It'll cost you five red feathers for you to use the move. And you have 20 seconds to use Kazooie as a torpedo. It is rather difficult, the controls for the torpedo, but 
Shortly you'll get the hang of it, just like that. Sorry, Kazooie, we have to use you as a torpedo. I'm sure Kazooie doesn't mind, Storm Striker. Now here's a warp pad which we will go ahead and activate. And right here, we will see a giant fish that seems very suspicious. In fact, it might have swallowed something. What is it exactly? Well, we're going to find out in just a moment. For now, we're going to bust down the teeth with grenade eggs. What big teeth you have, Spike? <laughs> and to get inside the fish, all you want to do is to shoot grenades on the teeth. No other eggs will work, so be well preserved of your ammunition of grenades, if you possibly can. And it is rather difficult to take out the teeth with grenades, but you'll get the hang of it shortly. After all of the teeth have been taken out, we can now go inside the fish. Why can I not get inside the fish? Come on, let me go inside you. I don't know why I'm having trouble with this. Okay, there we go. I sort of struggled with that one. Ah, wow. Now in here we'll see a couple of keel halls. I wonder how long they've been stranded in here. Well, who knows exactly. Let's check out this passageway first and see what we can find. I guess that answers that question. Now let's check out this other passageway and see if we can find someone or something of particular value. We do have a new character right here. This is Mary Maggie Malpass. Ah, you must be the rescue party. Only if the price is right. I'm Mary Maggie, partner of Jolly Roger. I was out on one of Blubber's wave racers when this fish knocked me off and swallowed me. The fish's mouth is open now, so you don't have to stay in here. That's lovely. It'll soon be happy hour at the inn, and Jolly will be needing some relief. Any chance of a jiggy? Oh, see Jolly about that. I'm sure he'll give you one. I really wasn't sure of the kind of voice I could give Mary Mackie Malpass, so I just went with the one I gave her. And do you know the old song, I like the way you move? Well, I sort of like the way Mary Maggie moves. <laughs> and one thing I don't understand about Mary Maggie, how can she make her way all the way back to Jolly Roger's Lagoon if we're at the sea bottom? Well, whatever, I won't question it whatsoever. What matters most is that she gets back to Jolly Roger's Lagoon, safe and sound. Right. Now, with mission accomplished inside the giant fish, let's actually make our way back to Atlantis because we could find a couple of more things of particular value. So let's make good use of this warp pad over here and warp back to Atlantis. Now, if I recall correctly, there should be another sea me fish somewhere around here. Where is it? Oh, there it is right there, but it just has ice eggs. We're full on those, so we're not going to worry about that. Let's check out this passageway over here next and see what we can possibly find. It's a good thing that we can explore this place underwater, free of air. It's all thanks to Mumbo. Imagine how good it would be if this happened in real life. We would be able to swim underwater freely. That Simi has a jiggy! Let's take it from him. Okay, carefully, 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 carefully. Oh, shoot. Let's get the jiggy. Where'd that see me go? There it is. Got it. It's rather difficult to control Kazooie as a torpedo, but like I said before, you'll get the hang of it. It just takes trial and error. Down there, we have a Globo, and if we make our way up here, we find Wumba's Wigwam yet again, so I reckon she'll transform us into something else. Let's head on inside and see what she'll transform us into. Wumba, we're back with the Globo, so now you can transform us into something else. Also, weird enough, instead of jumping inside the pool, you have to swim into it. Ironic, isn't it? Wow. Let's see what Wumba transforms us into. A submarine! Very useful underwater. Wumba call this submarine. Use left stick to turn on spot and A for much speed. Press X for sonic ping attack or left trigger or right trigger for torpedo attack. Ah yes, the submarine. It's armed and dangerous. 
Sea baddies beware. Now let's check out some things while we're a submarine, if we can. I guess I could demonstrate the attacks for the submarine. The sonic ping can be useful for taking out enemies from a distance from its initial position, as you saw right there. And you can also use the torpedo attack as well. And yes guys, before you ask, swell bellies can be taken out with explosives. Set your torpedoes! <laughs> Good one, Sword Striker. Now through this passageway, we will see another Inky, and the Sonar Ping can actually be useful for freezing it dead in its tracks. So if you guys were ever confused as to how you could get past it as a submarine, well there's your answer. Or solution, if I could call it that. Now right here we have a warp pad. Let's check out what's inside the shipwreck. Not so fast, Swellbelly. Now in here we will see... A chest with the Jinjo inside. I wonder what that could possibly mean. Hey Storm, do you think that maybe that there's a Jinjo inside? Yeah. Well, let's try blasting it open and see. Let's hope. There is a Jinjo. Our first purple one. Now let's go through this passageway over here and see what else we can find. Another Inky right there. And we're back at the sea bottom. Oh, by the way... While Inky is stunned, if you touch his tentacles, you'll get knocked back a bit, but you won't take damage. You only take damage if he's moving, and you come in contact with the tentacle. More Simis. This one has a gold feather, and that one has grenade eggs. Well, we're not even going to touch those. Here's another warp pad. Oh, and right here is a locker that looks weak. You can take it out with explosives. Davy Jones. What a familiar name. It's actually the name at the bottom of the sea. Down into the depths of Davy Jones' locker. <laughs> Good one, Storm. Also, we see some names engraved on these lockers. Hey, Storm. Fun fact, the names engraved on the lockers are actually the staff that created this game. Isn't that something? Wow, there's an easter egg. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like breaking the fourth wall. Oh, that looks dangerous. But we're going to go forth anyway. And now we know the size of Banjo-Kazooie to the humans. <laughs> exactly, pretty much. Now, this passageway may seem dangerous, but it really isn't, and I'll show you in a bit. You can only go through here as a submarine and not Banjo and Kazooie, and I'll show you in the next episode. Got down here at last, eh? How about trying my little shooting challenge? Score 60 points, and I might give you a prize. Do you need instructions? Yeah, why not? I've littered this place with lovely mines, which hopefully you'll run into. Destroy my mines to score ill-deserved points. Blue ones are worth three points. Green ones get you two points. And only one point for the feeble red ones. Ready? Three, two, one, go! The minigame now begins, so as Grunty explained, all you want to do is to find and destroy as many of these mines as you can to match a score of 60 points within 60 seconds. The blue mines are worth 3 points, the green mines are worth 2 points, and the red ones are only worth 1. It's recommended that you go into first person view and shoot out as many torpedoes as you can to try to take out as many mines as possible. And you are given an unlimited supply of torpedoes, so you don't have to worry about running out of explosives whatsoever. And as long as you keep track of the mines' positions and take them out on site, you'll be able to accomplish this. No problem, within a short amount of time. In fact, even as I talk about this, we've already met our goal of 60 points. 15 seconds left on the clock. This game really isn't all that hard. Wouldn't you agree, Storm Striker? Yeah. It looks rather easy indeed. No challenge whatsoever. In fact, it's too easy if you ask me. Rats! You luckily scored enough points to win my prize. At the completion of the minigame, we get our next Jiggy, which we will go ahead and take and make our way out of here. Let's get the Jiggy and get the Jiggy out of here. <laughs> uh, where is the Jiggy? Uh, trying to find it. Um... Oh, there it is, right there. Let's take it and go. 
Do you want to play again? No. Okay, so to wrap things up, let's go back to Wumba's Wigwam and transform back into Banjo and Kazooie. What do you say, Storm Striker? Yeah! Alright, let's go back. By the way, the submarine can't warp into the town center because submarines cannot operate well on land. They can only operate well on water. Kinda weird. <laughs> Yeah, so transform back into Banjo-Kazooie before you go back onto land for any reason whatsoever. Back into Banjo and Kazooie we go. Well, but I'm surprised that you can make a living in a place like this. Do you treat this as like an indoor swimming pool or something? If you do, that's rather cool. Okay, so we still have more of the underwater depths of Jolly Rogers Lagoon to explore, but we're out of time for this episode, so we're going to end things off here. So in the next episode, we are going to explore more of the underwater depths of Jolly Rogers Lagoon, as I have said earlier. So, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and before we close, Stormstriker, do you have any final thoughts? This was a pretty good episode. We went and saw Atlantis, and yeah, we went swimming. It was definitely a lot of fun. Yeah. By the way, Storm Striker SX9 will be back for the next episode since he told me that he likes this level the best. So Storm Striker, I'm looking forward to having you as a special guest for the next episode. And I'm looking forward for the next one myself. Alright then. Okay guys, until the next episode, I'm Multigame Master 1. And I am Storm Striker SX9. And we are over and out. See you later, comrades. See ya.